<clears throat> about timing here. Should we put our shakuhachi mu music on again? Or? Oh, absolutely. Do we, do we care? You want to grab one or should? I got it. Go for it. What about timing here? Should we put our shakuhachi mu music on again? What's the echo? Oh, that was YouTube starting up. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, are we good? Yeah. No music, Lauren. Did I do it? Yep. Gotcha. We lost the music, Lauren. There it is.
Yes. Um, just uh, uh, on the chronology text that we're working on all together? Yes, I just renewed the latest one from Elaine. Okay, if you have any updates to that, I'm going to print it out, you know, tomorrow morning. And, uh, I, I don't down. have any of those dates, Lord. I'm sorry. I wish I did. Do you have any other questions? No. Any other missing pieces? Anything that you want us to? No, I'm, I, I, I think it's very good. Uh, and, uh, and I wish I could contribute those dates, but I just don't have them. Well, I'll try and get them from, from, from Jack and Sensei tomorrow. Okay. All right. Great. Yeah, no, I reviewed it uh, about an hour ago, and it looked good. Okay. All right, very good.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Sensei is ready to go. So uh, as soon as he turns on his camera, we'll be ready to go. Good evening, Sensei. Hey, thank you. Uh, before I forget, remind me uh, at the end of the session, uh, next weekend is the 4th of July weekend. So we'll take it off in case you have long weekend plans. No class next Friday. Uh, okay. Okay. Carry over from last week or whenever. Insights, experiences, questions. Hello out there. Sensei, this is Justin. I, hey, Justin. hi, I, I, I noticed this this week that um, when uh, in various situations that would take place throughout the week, um, uh, there would invariably be um, a, a moment would arrive where it seemed like self became more present within the character and. Um, the way that I, I felt that I was positioning myself within the character became in those moments uh, fuller somehow, or um, in my, my sense of character in a situation would become more, um, I don't know, solid or, or present in a way, <laughs> a, a sense of things that it wasn't quite as, uh, as solid or tangible as it had been the moment before. Um, there was a, more of a fullness to what was happening within me and my situation in that moment? Yeah, I, did we lose you? Yeah, you finished there? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, kind of a good basic uh, situation uh, comes along and the center, he's picking up a little bit more, he's talking about self and the character uh, and the character present better in that situation, the character fuller. Uh, da, da. Yeah, good, good basic. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thank you. Let's see, I don't know. If if we can explain what Brad is playing with, let's give it a shot. Uh, Brad is very keen naturally on center, okay? But in watching him in the Aikido class, I would for a long time be seeing the center was sort of not in proper position with the situation. And I kind of didn't know what to say. So he's catching on that uh, to acknowledge there is a situation and then the center. Whereas before he would just center, uh, uh, but it got out of context with the situation he was in. Something like that, Brad, is that pretty close? Yeah. So he's having fun playing with that. Uh, giving the situation a moment, acknowledging the situation. Would you call it a merry-go-round thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at it like a merry-go-round. And then the center that uh, naturally will develop because of the situation. So he's moving along with that. Uh, it'd be interesting to see it showing up on the, uh, with the Aikido techniques. Anyway, somebody... I was on a road trip to visit family up in the hills. Uh, so I'm still, I think on the highway scattered. So please, somebody, some carryover, some insight, some experience, some questions uh, from previous weeks. Hello. Uh, sensei, sensei Bob here. Yeah. 
one thing I really like is how the two sessions came together in the sense that the kind of slow experientially based process of going through the could you remind us the two sessions what we did what we did for me because I forget them <laughs> very fast yeah one session we did what second session we did what and then go first session we worked with the process of going through the membrane or the wall from level okay. one to level two. Okay. And slowing it down and all that. Slowing yeah. it down. Okay. And then last week we applied basically the same practice to the initial experience when you reach that uh, finer level. Yeah. <clears throat> the thing I liked about it is that it was the same process in both cases. Yeah. A lot of things, uh, uh, throughout our manifest creation, uh, 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 good tricks of the trade, sorry, my phrasing, uh, are repeatable. If they're good, they'll, they'll show up again at another level and repeat. So it's not like you have to learn a brand new trick for every dimension or something. Uh, certain tricks, certain, help me with the word, patterns, certain things you do, you just keep doing you know, so uh, easy at the border and then starting to pass through into a bigger space. And you know what's going on? I got to be like, easy there, easy. So it's just, a, yeah, easy is a good. And that goes on for a long, long time through manifest creation and continues easy, easy. Let it unfold. Let it show itself. Don't be... Don't be so fast to jump. Easy. You're not in uh, the third grade and the kid who gets his hand up first is, a, is the best kid in class. We're, we're not in the third grade here. Easy. Easy. Kind of thing. So, yeah. Is that, is that what we were talking about, Bob? <laughs> is, that, is that okay? Yes, exactly so. The, the, the pattern goes a long way. Yeah. Once you get it, it, you can continue it and it goes a long way. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the different kinds of patterns, I think I mentioned, uh, uh, for example, on something with dimensionality, border, uh, talking about uh, at one time I hit a heavy death feeling at a border. And I wasn't sure if I was actually going to die. It was that strong. So I'm fairly new at the game here. Uh, but as I continued gambled i continued to go hoping i wasn't actually going to die but what the hell let's go <laughs> okay uh, and then i noticed as i uh, as time went on and i would hit different borders uh that there even got to be uh, uh there's still a death thing but it got to be real just a quick second sense nothing scary but just a just a quick sense, death. Oh, I'm at the, a border. Oh, moving into the next dimension. So that death, death, death continued. It just got lighter. The first one was heavy duty again. I didn't know it was really going to get me, you know, really. Uh, but it was lighter and quicker. And oh, yeah, that. It was a, it became a, a road sign. Okay. So uh, I think we asked you, if you remind me, Bob, that we asked the folks to, notice their style of border because it's probably going to repeat yes yeah and as you just described it when you do that you get better and better at it and it gets faster and easier yeah but it's still sort of like a continuation yeah yeah yeah, yeah all kinds of things like suddenly you're in a new space and i don't know okay easy easy and then there's an experiential knowing and you move on to the next one and it'll be, I don't know again. It's like, oh, that, that one again. That always happens right here. Easy. Da -da -da -da. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one for quite a while because <laughs> it's sort of, again, a road sign tells you where you're at. Oh, that one again. I'm at this relationship with it. Something like yeah. that. And on and on. So, uh, So recognize your own stuff, I guess we could say. Uh, somebody. Uh, 
I'll ask something. That's okay, Sensei. Okay. It's Dusty. I'll ask hey, something. Yes. That's okay. Um, yeah, I guess this is like warning signs. I think one of the systems I might go is like, I think it's like center right away, but just for like a tiny little moment. Then I like to go out like a couple, and then I like to go out here and then like taste something, get it, and then come back. Okay, let's go over this again. Slowly, slowly for me. First word, what? Well, First. you know, as far as I guess um, you're referring to what we. Uh, okay. First. First. First is. First thing. I feel like it, it would be my center, but I don't like to stay there for very long before I like to kind of bounce out okay. a couple. I don't know if it's a dimension or a level or a space yeah. and then, and then come back in. Yeah. Okay. I think in people in that case, uh, and we might cover that a bit with this vortex spiraling kind of sense. Uh, let's not try to go for center. Let's easy, settle, easy, not going for anything, just settling if that's a something. Easy, settle, open. Ah, when there's a little sense of, oh, I feel more hair or something to let you know you're a little more present, your breathing change. You can feel your dead air on the chair, or in this case, my feet on the floor. I notice my breathing wants to change into a better mode of breathing. That tells me I'm a little better here. If that feels pretty good to me, then I'll go. And now next, the space, the space. Then it should begin to show the center in the space. Mm. and. The circle. Yeah. So you jump for center and I think you get pushed. Yeah. Yeah. So easy. Set it up better. Set it up better. Yeah. I don't know if I said it great, but I didn't say it too bad. No, that, was, that was good. That was yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. That's good. Remember, I think your style of being is to jump for things. Yeah. Here's that jump. Easy. Easy, easy. Ah, we'll go through these things, okay? Uh, some, see, sometimes I have to be very careful of talking about advanced things, you know, like a more original self. And, and somebody will, oh, wow, that's important. I'll jump for that. I'll have an idea about what's an original self. And, and, and they ain't anywhere near there. They haven't set up the pattern properly. Uh, uh, so I, I don't like, and you notice I jump on you if you throw out advanced words uh, where people get an idea about it and, and think they got it because they got the idea about it. And, and they haven't done the setup. They haven't gone through the, the layers. Uh, they haven't experienced enough or something. Uh, now, again, if you're the fast kidding class, you don't want to do any of that. You just want to, oh, yeah, I want to go for that. Easy, easy. Let's set it up properly so that the rest of the journey, for lack of words, developmental journey, the awareness developmental, can proceed properly. Yeah. Something like that. Hope. <laughs> Sensei, this is Tisha. Hey, you. Uh, I know you haven't introduced the theme of the night so much yet. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> but what, I, I have a sense then of the connection between what Noah was talking about and what you spoke about earlier when you're talking about uh, the uh, slowing down at the border of a, of a transformation into another level and then just being present. And so those themes really seem to be connected with the sense of, of tonight's theme as well. They're all part of a continuity so far. So I'm appreciating uh, the, uh, the fact that the, the slowdown is an important aspect 
And, you know, you, you've said this many times in Aikido, we often do a lot of the training exercises too fast, you know, like whether that's cutting or doing uh, even basic Taino Hinko or something like that in Aikido, that we often rush through the sequence uh, just to get our four cycles in and yeah. then go, go it to the next stage. And a lot of great learning is, um, is missed by, by not being present. Yeah. So slowing down and being present, I just wanted to acknowledge those uh, aspects of your teaching that I think are so vital and that are often missed, not only in Aikido, but, you know, in, in music. Lizzie. And life and music <laughs> performance in, in anything that you can probably name yeah. that's a developmental process of learning. Yeah. So just yeah, uh, I don't, I don't think here. historically, whether I've been talking to a bicycle racer guy or a a, a Tai Chi teacher guy, uh, a tennis player. Sure. Skier, well, whoever, whoever. I, I didn't have to really change a lot of things. It was kind of the basics. First, let's easy settle. And then I would see where the system wasn't fully there properly. But it was first that settling and that opening. Yeah. So I didn't tell the bicyclist, well, bicycle for 30 miles a day instead of 25 <laughs> or, or whatever. And I, no, 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 no. And in the Aikido, they tend to well, I want to be more active out there and do more. Well, the more really should be an inner more, an inner development, which will naturally show out in the outer. Uh, but don't, oh, is it showing yet? They jump the gun again. Wait, inner development, outer manifestation, potentially. Yeah, yeah that's such yeah. a beautiful and important teaching. And, and so much... Uh, is a, in learning, you know, I can, I can think about music, uh, we can think about Aikido, is, a, you know, the, the learning process is a lot about the repetition. Mm -hmm. And there's a certain amount of repetition that's important, but without the inner qualities that you're talking about, yeah. with that, uh, you, 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 can spend, you can spend years, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can waste years of time just doing more and more repetitions. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think I can make up a practice there. For example, uh, let's say, ah, is my music or my art or something. Ah, now I want to be good at it. So I say again, ah, and I say again, ah, and I say again, ah, and I say again, ah. Okay, maybe it'll get a little louder. Maybe behind this, my breath will improve a bit so I can hang on to it a bit longer. But if you really notice, it's not really improving. Ah, okay, easy, settle. From that more settled level and that more open space. Da, da, da. Ah, we cracked a bit, but it's it that little different tonality too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easy, settle, okay. better level. Yeah. Ah, it's going to go on and on and on. Wow, where did that come from? At that better level. A lot of people won't buy that. They stay with the ah, ah, ah. Let me say it louder. Ah, I'm developing. Ah, sensei, where's my next rank? <laughs> Sorry, people. It's my dig on the Aikido people. Uh, bro, thank you. I'll get back to you guys. Okay. All right. Should we try to shift into whatever? Sure. Okay. Or that manifest creation. It's not the totality of creation, okay? Damn the word. It wanted to show more of itself, the creation. So it went from a lighter, more original, not the most original yet. Uh, but finer, more original, into heavier dimensions, okay? So there's your vortex happening there. There's your spiral happening there, okay? And then within that vortex spiral, uh, you got from 
finer, bam, bam, into smaller, heavier. Okay. And here we are in the human condition. So I make a joke. If we didn't sort of put our brakes on and did stop there, we would have become went pretty heavy. Okay. Ah, what to say there? That was your call to do that. We weren't forced to do that. It really wasn't supposed to do that. But apparently we got fascinated by the layout of creation and the dimensionality and the, the uh, whatever, heavier of things, and we got drawn into it. Okay? No. There's a painting around where you got, uh, uh, I think it's a famous painting, an angel up in the clouds, and he's, he's kind of sorrowful. He's looking down, and these other angels are in this mud pile, and they're stuck in the mire. They, they're into quicksand. And he's going, oh, too bad. Uh, and I think sort of like, like that, where you kind of got sucked into this tighter space, in a certain way, uh, the one word I like, I don't know if it's a proper word, but it's kind of like a trap, like a lobster trap. You get in, and now, now you realize, wait a minute, something's wrong. This is too tight. Okay? You get this urge to, to develop somehow. You get this, some of us get this urge to move along. In high school, I used to say, life as I see it, that can't be anything. If, if that's it, what I see, I'm at level one Bobby, and I'm seeing the world, and I'm saying, yeah, is that it? Because if that's it, I don't give a shit. Okay? So that was a, one of my beginning pushes. This can't be it. There must be something more going on here. Okay? So I remember that observation as a young teen, teenager. Where am I going with that? Okay, now some uh, people will stay at their level, their Bobby Robert level, whatever, their two by two level, three by three level, what, whatever. And they kind of get stuck there. Okay. But some of us have more of a pulling. We say this is pretty good, but I think there's more. Okay. Right? So something is calling you for more. Okay. And some people have a stronger pull on that than others. So be it. Okay. Uh, talking to Richard Moon today, and he mentioned that. He says, you know, your, I forget what words he used, but the, your pull and the depth you want to go into this is much more than, you know, sort of like normal people or something. Sorry, Moon, I'm paraphrasing. Uh, I thought, yeah, and I don't expect everybody to. Uh, be as crazy as I am for, for, for this. But there are some people around who, who want to move along a bit. And we should, if we're a little more advanced, let's say, uh, we should be able to help them move along a bit. And you'll move them one more click, and you'll expect two clicks, and they'll stop there, and you'll feel sad, but you got to let it go. It's their call now. Others will be, hey, that one click was good. What's the second click? And some of them will say, now what's the third click? Because the second was really cool. And then you work with those people, and some of them will stop along the way. And you'll feel sad about that, but you got to let it go. Okay, you can't control them, you know. What's that? You bring them the water, but you can't make them drink kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, so you're maybe not going to save the world right now, but save yourself. <laughs> okay. We don't need more people in the tightness of crazy insanity. We got enough people boxed in there. The world is weird. Oh, we don't need to add to that. Somebody should settle, get into a little better level, and then whatever from that level. Okay. So let's say there's a, fighting level, I want to hit anybody anytime, to, well, I'm not as interested in fighting anymore. Well, that's a better level. They're, they're not as tight crazy. So uh, the more people we can get to, uh, get to a little better level, 
potentially the better things can be. Okay, but again, we can't control the world. So as the wars break out and the diseases and the earthquakes and all that, yeah, there's a lot of that going on. Easy, easy. Save yourself. <laughs> Develop yourself. Didn't know since they say that in one of those things that Lauren shows us, or since they sayings, it's not to something other people, it's to the purpose of Aikido is not to defeat other per people, yeah. but to Def develop yourself. Defeat them or drag them into this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think maybe he meant not for correcting others, it's for correcting your own mind. Yeah, okay, there we go, too. Yeah. yeah. That's the exact quote. Yeah. R Richard's more correct. Okay. Thank you, Richard. Well, no, actually, that's a different one, Lauren, and it's also correct, and it's very close to the same message, so... <sighs> Sorry, go ahead. Thank you. Hmm. Anyway, I was hoping, looking at, oh, there's two forms I use. Now, this is not quite right because it's more linear. But just try to look at it that way. This level, this level, this level. Okay. Uh, so you might get a certain, and those are dimensional, those oh, lines, dimensional. Okay, but again, it's not quite right because it's too linear. The overlay factor is closer to the truth, but I thought uh, have a sense of the linear or the sense of the uh, tight, the half by half space, the one by one, the two by two, the three by three, or as, as a sense, they would say, don't go anywhere, it's here, but it's dimensionally ever finer here. Okay. okay, so whether, uh, I, I just thought by seeing the a vortex crowding in thing and its reverse beat, if you would, back to finer and finer and finer, uh, to look uh, either at that circular style or this linear style, you get a, your own sense of it. So whatever, whatever that means. Whatever I say, Laura. Okay, where are we? Ah. So let's say there is this vortex. Okay. Looking at the push part of it tighter and tighter and tighter. Uh, for me, in the push part to try to uh, uh, get squared away or centered, I'm, I'm pointing at. Yes, I'll be there. Uh, it's a little hard because I'm so caught up in this push. So I'm playing with just acknowledge there is a vortex. Just acknowledge there is a push. Okay, just acknowledge it. I don't try to do anything fancy in the push because the push is how can I center properly and stuff? It's pushing me all over the place. But just to acknowledge, there is a push. And as soon as I acknowledge it, then now there is an inner space. Okay. I'm not trying to make the spiral stop. The spiral is just, that's that. The vortex spiral is that. Something to do with the creation of the manifest. Okay. I don't try to stop it. I acknowledge it, and then start to, the bad word, focus on uh, this more open space, easy, this dimensional space, easy, this dimensional space, okay? So this quieter, let's say, or more, yeah, quieter, more peaceful, calmer space, it's got nothing to do with the vortex right now. That's the vortex. That's that. This is this. Easy. Okay. And in this, this space, again, don't reach. Easy. And the energies, I think we went over this last week, the energies will start to formulate. I don't know the word formulate. Uh, 
and there'll be centered energies and acknowledgement of a circle, circle to center, center to circle, and there'll be a character there, okay, a character. And eventually, as we get finer and finer, the self that's there, but kind of, he's kind of shrouded in by this tightness, so hard for the self to show itself, be clear, speak clearly, but you've got the character who is, I don't know, a rep for the self for a while, okay? And as the character gets finer, as we move into uh, 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 the next level of dimensions or move upstream, so to speak, uh, the character will be better, okay? And eventually the self really can begin to show. Okay. Oh, where the hell am I? Uh, anyway, just a sense of a sense of a vortex. Uh, it, I'm sort of asking: Is, is that going to help you out any? I, 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 I have. Maybe I, I could say to you. Okay, let's say we're all in a vortex. Boom, bang. We're all in a vortex. Uh, especially this one that pushes tighter, just keep it on one, might be a little easier. You, you people, do you have any sense of how to recognize the vortex, how to know when you're being vortexed? Is that a proper question? Help. Yes, I, I for one, I feel um, a sense of being wound up and, and more agitated. Um, as the, the pressures within my two by two or three by three have reached the limit of the capacity there, I feel wound up. And at my transitioning, there's an unwinding as I settle and open to be more present with what's there. And I'm, I might like, for me, a change of words. I might say wound in. Oh, wound in. Yeah. Although we speak wound up, but uh, for, 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 for me right now, I yeah. Wound in. Wound in. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So if you catch that, that, I don't want to call it a force, that's going on. Would you agree with me right there that to try to stabilize when you're too involved with that is quite difficult? Yeah. 100%. Yeah, and that's why I'm playing with the sense of just to recognize, acknowledge it. We're not going to do anything with it. We're going to say, stop. You know, you're interfering with me finding myself here. We're not going to do that. Oh, okay, you're that. Oh, uh, yeah. This is this. And then a, a percentage check. Am I still involved in that? Or is my percentage high enough with this that's calmer, a little bit lower, uh, somehow finer, in whatever form you pick it up. And, and then the character is going to get mixed in there. Da -da 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 -da. I not think there's any validity to that. Yes, 100%. Also, a, a settling and opening more fully. Uh, my sense experience of presence changes. So it, it, uh, more boxed in level more wound in there's a lot more front focus and and a tunnel vision like but if i settle open more fully then there's a sense of back uh, for example that may not have been there before all that stuff yeah exactly yeah, yes all that stuff uh yeah which is playing i'm playing presenting maybe maybe the possibility of, of knowing there's a vortex acknowledging it might facilitate the okay that's that and this is this, okay? Because if I'm, again, caught up in that, uh, to ask me to get squared away to be a nice guy, is like, ah! I'm, I'm, I'm caught up. And I'm, Meow! and kind of thing, as you said. Are we getting anything out of this so far? Anybody, am I screwing this up here? So all of our first main work, manifest creation, is not the totality, but it's the 
lobster trap that we're in. And dimensionally, we're going to say work our way through, uh, whatever the right word is, develop our way through, and uh, go finer and finer and finer through it. Okay. Eventually, they'll be outside of the trap, and we'll dialogue that more later. You've heard me bring up the word uh, domain. I bring that word up through at when you're through the manifest. There's a little something, a, a, a prep space there for next that I call the domain, where self that's uh, not wrapped up so tightly uh, really begins, oh, I'm a, I'm a self. So even though there was a, a self to some degree in this spiral, uh, we're not, we're, we weren't really getting a good shot on it because it, because these, uh, in, in the spiral, these tighter, 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 tighter things are there. As we follow our process, they're not as tight. And the ropes become strings, the strings become threads, and then whatever's finer than threads, and boom, you have a potential of moving out of this manifest trap into the next piece that I call domain. And we'll get into that another day, okay? Uh, now, again, because I threw the word out, because you sort of have an idea of it, you can't say, oh yeah, I exist in domain. You can't do that, people. There has to be some experience, some experience. When you really catch it, yes, there are fast forms because you've been through the stuff experientially. And one day we might present a fast form, but I can't, I dare not try to present anything like that right now because people will understand it and think they got it and, and, and it'll just screw them up the way that, the way creation works, so it just gets spun off again and, and again and again. So I'm really careful on throwing out advanced fancy words. And if you notice, I jump on you throughout two fancy words. We're not ready for that fancy word yet. We're still in here using a word that you heard. Okay. Here I am in this size, and, and, and I hear, uh, but God said you were a per perfect pure being. Oh, I'm a perfect, pure being. No, you're not. You're Bobby. Stop it. <laughs> but you can develop into that. I'm, 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 I'm on a tirade here. Help, stop me before I speak more. Where the hell are we? I'll call in my helpful agent, Mr. Noah. Keep it simple. Say we're, we're, we're working with a process that has a couple steps. The first one is recognizing the vortex okay. and then not trying to wrestle with it or subdue it or function better in it, but uh, take a moment to relax and shift your, your attention from the vortex to relaxing and opening a little bit, a little bit, just to get a little space. Yeah. So you're not trying to do that in the middle of the vortex. You're acknowledging the vortex. So we say it that way, yeah. You're acknowledging there's a vortex. And, and, and you're acknowledging, shifting your focus, whatever the right words are. I, I don't like shifting your focus because that means I'm looking at, I'm aware of it. So I don't like that, but it's words we use. Shifting your attention. Did you say that, Bob? Shift your attention to this. Yes. And, yeah. Okay. And then uh, we've covered how to play with this next set, you know. You're in a three by three, now what? Easy, da, 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 da. who's the character? Okay. And even though self is not showing, I might just uh, acknowledge to myself, and there is a self here, just to acknowledge it. So when I'm at a finer and finer and finer, and self is there, the whoa, there it is, kind of thing. Blah, I'm talking too much. Go ahead, Bob. Anything else on the, the vortex setup? Well, it, it, the other thing is it, it, it the pattern in some ways is similar to the one we talked about earlier when you're going through the border and then 
appreciating the uh, early stages of the next level, mm -hmm. the, the pattern you're describing with the vortex, you can keep doing it and get even finer and finer, more open, and so on. I was just hoping that in saying there is such a thing and to acknowledge it, I don't know how much you have to experience the vortex, you know, whatever, uh, but just to acknowledge the idea of it, just to acknowledge that, yeah, probably something like that, yeah. And that's that. Easy, I'm shifting from that to this, to this inner sensing, whatever, whatever, whatever we do there. You got anything more, Bob? I'm waiting for more. Well, it, it, just what I said a moment ago, that, that the pattern you just described and you just modeled for us can uh, take you a, a long way. Uh, but you have to take it a step at a time, as you were saying, and make the practice experiential. Mm -hmm. Anything to say about the vortex sense? Just this, this layout. Is that clear enough? That there's this thing tighter and tighter and tighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. And Sensei, this is Lauren. And um, this, <clears throat> you're kind of explaining the, the law of vortexes how they function and their nature. And uh, when we talked about it the other day, you pointed out that sure, vort you know, vortexes and spirals occur everywhere once you start looking for them, but it's not it enough. Everywhere in nature. Everywhere in nature. Yeah. Every, yes, everywhere. You see in them nature. all over the place once you, once right. you said, is this important? And you suddenly see that spiral and this spiral, whatever, whatever, yeah. It's, okay. it's, it's kind of a primary way that energy and form manifest themselves in our world. Or you'll see it all over the damn place, people. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, I want to add to this. Now, instead of majoring, and so that's somebody's job. It's not my job. Majoring in the different vortexes of the world. And you may even do a picture book showing the water vortexing and the, the tree spiraling or whatever. Uh, yes, endless possibilities in our earth world setup. Okay, at this level, people, human, whatever level. Now, I don't want to stay there and just keep majoring in that. I want to go, okay, what's the finer of that? What's the finer sense of a vortex? I want to go dimensional with it. To keep studying and be an expert on that is somebody else's job. I don't think it's yours. I don't know about you, but I don't think it's yours. It's not mine. Okay. It could be one reason to keep from the actual inner experience is, well, I got to study more. Now they're going to Mars. I got to go to Mars and see how if Martian vortexes are different than Earth vortexes and on and on and on and on. That's somebody else's job. So, and they're pre pretty, both with pretty pictures. Very nice. So one of the things that I discovered in Aikido was the experience of vortexes mm -hmm. in a visceral, dynamic, real-time way. Mm -hmm. And like you said, and Noah said a minute ago, to acknowledge the vortex. It's a kind of a variant on circle and center, but they all have a calm center. And I discovered through my own practice that as I experienced the vortex, if my center opened, the vortex, of course, revolves around, but the center becomes calm. And this is consistent with the natural phenomena of vortex, but it turns out to be the same function, the same dynamic on the inner process of vortexes as I experience them. And so... Jump in again? Okay. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, we can go. Or 
and a boom, spiraling out, boom, boom. Okay, spirals. Uh, and to continue into a finer dimension and see how that spiral vortex, whatever. Uh, I think we're using vortex and spiral in two different ways here, but how that manifests from that finer level, okay? So me personally, I only stay with a certain level of it. I get a kind of a fair feeling about it. Not years, just whatever. Five minutes, five days, whoop. I think, yeah. And then finer, following that technique, <laughs> but finer. Now at a finer dimensional level, how is my system doing that technique? Okay. I don't know if I said it well, but. I, I, I'm completely, completely agree. And, and, uh, and it leads directly to sense of presence. That the, the acknowledgement of the vortex and the responding calm in the center leaves this, my system with an enhanced sense of presence and space and all the other dimensional qualities that, that, that we talk about. And so this dynamic of the vortex and its calm center is, you know, in my own experience, so powerful uh, as process. So yeah. that's all I have to say. I'll turn and it I'm not sure about uh, Bob. Are we going to confuse the word vortex with the, the spirals that, uh, that occur at better levels? I think that could definitely happen, Sensei, and you're using the vortex in a very specific way. Yeah, sort of the, sort of the big the outline of, of what created this lobster trap. Right. Now, within the lobster trap, then we can get spirals and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not sure, if, uh, uh, Lauren, I'm just not sure right now if I would use the word vortex for those techniques. Uh, I might call them energy spirals and at better levels they spiral better or whatever, whatever. But I might want to keep the vortex as a force that is more involved with the lobster trap. <laughs> I, I guess what I want to say, Sensei, is that you're, you're explaining the lobster trap <laughs> using this vortex mm, metaphor and I, I really like that. And I, and one of the reasons I like that is it's a consistent metaphor to my direct experience that I got practicing Aikido, dealing with these other forces as you describe. So uh, I just wanted to share my. Yeah, I've got no problem here, Lauren. No problem. I'm just not sure if people will confuse spiraling things with, with, vortex in which I'm trying to lay it out. That's why I threw the question to Bob, who's a little more intelligent than I am, to see. Uh, I've got, no, Lauren, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm going to get out of the way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just try not to do anything that might overly confuse other people. I don't mind confusing them a bit to shake them up so they <laughs> move along, but I don't want to confuse them too much if I can. Okay. And I won't be able to control that, so so be it. Anyway, uh, Tija, we playing with the vortex thing. You want to lay out your sense of vortex in here? Sure. Um, it's it's very interesting, as I as I said earlier, the connection with um, with being present, which is what we did the the last time, and then slowing down. A vortex in, in this way seems to be what you sometimes refer to as a travel vehicle, or it is potentially a, a gateway to that, to that finer dimension. And it's not just a lateral movement. It is a fluid, it a, has a fluid sense. It's moving. Could, could I say, let me jump in a sec? Sure. Because uh, you said travel vehicle. That we're, oh God, I just lost it. That we're uh, using how it works to facilitate traveling through it. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. I think that was cool. 
Yeah, I think I, I said something cool. Yeah. Anybody tape that? I think that was cool. <laughs> That's all you, Sensei. <laughs> yeah, we got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, um, it's interesting <clears throat> in the dynamics. I mean, kind of to lean in a little bit on what no, both Noah and Lauren were just saying the dynamics of the spiral is, there are some interesting pieces about that. It's like being in rushing water in a certain way. I think uh, Justin was talking about that, maybe Dustin uh, as well, you know, like the intensity of moving into uh, or at the borderline of a new dimension. And uh, it's like, like being in rushing water, if you fight it, uh, you can go down, but if you can relax into it, then you might move more towards the center. Yeah. Now, I'm just talking about dynamics of spirals here, but um, using that as a as a way, hopefully. And again, let me jump in. I think I think I'm trying to get across that if you're I don't know, overtly caught up in this room uh, vortex, uh, not to try to suddenly find your center or find your sanity or something. It's like, just acknowledge it. That's the force. Yeah, I like the acknowledgement. And that's kind of like, I don't want to say let go, but I do want to say there there is a way of... Uh, let go of your heavy interest in it? Yeah, something like that. You know, mm -hmm. if you fight the water, if you fight the, if you fight that spiraling movement, you're going to be pushed towards the periphery. And I think what you're pointing to and what uh, everyone who is talking about the experience is that like, as you relax and move towards the center, you are moving more towards the calm. And uh, that is something that we've been practicing with, uh, you know, forever. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's jumping for a second. Uh, Noam, you might remember better. Uh, Jean Magret story. She's at the beach with her brother. They go in the water but there's a fantastic undertow or something. Her brother drowns. She's fighting the currents there. And I believe my voice came to her Correct. and said, easy or something. You remember the, what she said? That's, that's exactly what you said is exactly it. She, she was yeah. fighting the current, yeah. starting to get fatigued, could have gone under like a brother who who'd actually died as a result. And she easy. went with the flow. Easy. Yeah. And then this, allowing it, which brought her outside of those drowning currents. That's right. So she was all right. Her brother was dead. Unfortunately, yeah. that's what happened. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. I think part of sensing what you're describing with the vortex and its effect on us is an immediate experience of what happened at the dawn of creation when the dynamic forces of creation and we didn't uh, we didn't align with them properly and we got sucked in and became apes and maybe rocks. Now he I took a big jump here. He's to the beginning of creation. Starting to get past my pay grade here, people. Uh, so <laughs> beginning of creation and... Well, you, you talked about that earlier in class that, that, that we, at the very beginning, we didn't um, interact with the creation properly and we got sucked in more and more and more. My understanding is if you were to hold yourself properly, making words up, as your self-consciousness, hold yourself properly, that the uh, creation of the heavy stuff, vortex stuff, the lobster trap stuff, you would have been aware of that, but you wouldn't have got drawn into it. So there's the difference. We, we lost our fullness. Now, our fullness is still there, but I'm here. Uh, Bob, is that the pro a prodigal son story? That this drunk here finally works his way back, and he's given all the gifts of his brother who never left. Does that fit in here? You, you yes, like the prodigal son story. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Does that make any sense to any, any, anybody? So, <laughs> so some proper extrication... And I don't know how much to throw out, but there is a level uh, that more fully holds itself and purposely will not get caught up in the trap again because it knows better. Can we say it that way? 
It's a little bit past my pay grade, but I'm doing the best. <laughs> TJ, back to you. Vortex. That's that's essentially it. Is is uh, feeling that. Uh, in the connection of the of the teachings and the experiential process that we're going to it, through in the in this process of transformation, the one by two by three by is a transformational process, and we're trying to make it uh, accessible. You know, we're using we're using some cognitive sense and in, uh, in learning, but we're really leaning into the experience of what that is. So we use the the metaphor of the vortex or the metaphor of the membrane as Noah was talking about earlier as a, as a, a way of feeling into what it, what it takes to, uh, to move uh, dimensionally. And it's like for me as a guitar player say, uh, using that as an example, you know, uh, uh, when you, uh, when you fight the instrument, and I don't fight the instrument so much anymore, but when you when you fight it to try to make it do something, it's you know it's a it's a process that that just doesn't go anywhere. Sort but of fights you back, yeah, yeah, fights you. It definitely <laughs> fights you back. Something it's really you fighting yourself back. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> the, the but but when you can when you can let go the. Uh, let go is not exactly the right word. Relaxation isn't exactly the right word, but it's easy. Yeah, it's oh, good. I should write that down. Easy. Uh, yeah, it's easy. It's uh, relaxation is not collapse. It is um, what's that word that? Uh, oh, yeah, that Lauren was using. Presence. It drops you into kind of a presence. And there are levels of that for a performer, for an Aikidoist, for an athlete, for a golfer, all those Life, things. Everybody. Yeah. We're, for, all this, yeah. we're all in this thing in our own way. Yeah. Yeah. So the vortex is, it can definitely be um, a challenge. And if you know some of the dynamics that we've talked about here, then you can acknowledge that and... Uh, do be present in yeah. the, uh, in the inner work again what seems to be nagging on me uh, all the while is uh let's make these lines a little thicker it's just to acknowledge that there's something as a great force it created a whole manifest creation whoa okay indeed and I want to make, and it seems like, again, I want to say, by just acknowledging it's there. I didn't say get in and experience it, blah, 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 but just acknowledge there's such a thing. Okay, just acknowledge yeah. it. All the while, I'm starting to easy and center, and I'm getting into, say, a calmer place here. Yeah. Yeah. And there'll be a, a, an easy, it'll mix up a better character. After a while, you realize in that same next space, there's also a bit of self that's there. Space, experiencing itself as space. Yeah. Character, experiencing itself as the character, not just aware. Mm -hmm. That's my word. Experience. Yeah. Eventually, Self gets to show more and more and more because in the tighter, it's kind of tight up, kind of can't really show itself, could I say? But in the finer and finer, it starts to, hey, hey, <laughs> it starts to show itself or uh, uh, sort of to let you know something's here. <laughs> well, absolutely. And I think one of the beauties of that is, um, is the functionality that begins to show itself when when the more original self, as you as you put it, uh, has a chance to show itself? Yeah. Um, so there is there's both uh, capability. There's a there's yeah. kind of an innate intelligence. It's not necessarily cognitive intelligence. It can be any of the various lines of intelligence: the body intelligence, the empathetic intelligence. You know those kinds of things. That that's what's that's what you're pointing to for me is that in the transformation process, when I settle when I settle down, say in the in the guitar, 
the 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 harmony that begins to take place is is expressed in beauty is expressed in um in vitality expressed in the glow exp yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah those things yeah so again as we move into finer dimensions a two byte or a three byte or a four byte then these other things begin to show uh you use quality words there the beauty begins to show yeah uh the more alive begins yeah. to show yes indeed uh whatever whatever so so yeah uh yeah thanks that's great wonderful yeah. beautiful teachings great yeah. teachings see i sort of am i diverging too much uh had you at whatever level you were at six months ago, whatever, say what quality is natural natural for you? Easy. Often there's a quality that's just there. And when it's there, you you feel better somehow or to other. It's just so natural for you. And it shows fairly often. It's like it's your quality. And I asked people to tell me what it was. And we got a pretty good response there, yeah? Where I'm going with that, we'll get back to that, is you have more than one quality, okay? I've been mentioning that, asking those people that pick up a quality, don't forget to pick up its partner. It'll help you stay more balanced along here, okay? So that's two of them. Uh, more and more and more, you'll be able to pick up four of them. Okay, so in finer, finer, finer. Where am I going with that? Uh, I don't know if I should say this. Uh, a teacher, you alluded to it that when a self, a better self is, is there, that the better character, player, whoever, did you say that? I did. Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. It, uh, it, the interesting thing is it's it is kind of a natural process but you have to be in it that that aspect that you noted earlier of acknowledgement i think is quite important um it doesn't necessarily just spontaneously happen to be a to be a good artist of any kind an aikidoist or a musician takes some practice and that does take some repetition but the depth you know what? What um, what differentiates a yo-yo ma from uh, a beginning cellist is the is the presence of self that is just radiant through the guy, and uh, and it is then it's it. It radiates also uh, through his music and through the very yeah. tones that he creates. Okay. I may be speaking too much. I don't, I don't again, like to throw out too much, but in the earlier layout of self present. Yeah. And then the energies that mix up the character that self is in relation to and the world he's in. Uh, so self will take more of a, I don't to call it a dominance, a, a first place. So, uh, and certainly we're backing up into or backtracking, backtracking finer and finer and finer towards self. Eventually, it goes this way and self is there and all this other stuff is just naturally going on. So isn't that interesting? Because, about that. Isn't that so interesting? Because when you look at top notch athletes or, or musicians like that, uh, you, you, in a way, in the way that we're talking about, it, you could say that uh, self is is more present. Is uh, yeah, even in the early stages. I'm gonna hold this in. I'm, I was talking a more advanced level, but even in the early stages, when you begin to see some semblance of a of this inner glow of this core self or something, you begin to get a sense of, of, of something else there. There, uh, so yo yo ma. With, yeah, no, your mom. Yeah, his ah, good, for me, he's a good example. Something and, extra, and, yeah. Something extra, yeah. <laughs> Don't they try to use that in, in uh, theater business? 
uh, oh, he's Mr. Showman or he's Mr. Whatever to say he's not just a comedian. He's the best of the best because he's got this extra thing. So they give him that title, Mr. Whatever. Yeah. Or Mr. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Anyway. Uh, uh, so and again, again, I think to acknowledge there is such a thing and not try to do anything when such a thing isn't. Uh, we are being affected by it, but just to easily acknowledge it. Yes, 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 yeah, goes back. Yes, yes, yes. And then you work the inner. That's that now. This is this. I just thought, again, by sort of acknowledging it, that it would make this inner part and its movement. And if you bump into it along your movement, another phase of of that you know what it is and you go same thing you acknowledge it that's that and this is this and you continue with your inner development best i can do words are a bitch my diagrams are a bitch everything's a bitch hello out there people any anyone following all this nonsense we're talking about Uh, Sensei, this is Elaine. Oh. Um, what I am appreciating about an earlier discussion, especially about um, the vortex, the difference between the vortex and, and experiencing spirals in Aikido or something like that, is it the vortex isn't manifest, it's going toward manifest. Is that right? It's going toward density and the vortex itself is what it is. And we acknowledge that the vortex is what it is and you don't try to change it. You don't try to mess around with it. It's just a thing it's, or a law. That's, um, how, it, that's how it's made, that's way. how it's worked. And because that's how it's made and it's the outline, made up a word there, outline, then of course, within the outline are spirals and stuff. Yeah, okay. But uh, what I was uh, worried about that people would say, oh, my spiral is the vortex. And it's like, no, this outline thing is the vortex. And within the vortex, following the pattern, creation just keeps kind of repeating itself right. a lot. Me and Bob were talking about that er earlier, this repetitiveness, thank God. Uh, uh, that because of that, there are spirals. So there are little spirals and finer dimensional spirals and finer dimensional spirals. Uh, but let's not call that the vortex would be my uh, sense so you don't get confused. Yeah, yeah. See, because I'm asking people to acknowledge the vortex but not stick your body in it, so to speak, so it exactly. spins you. Now, if we say, oh, it's vortexing through me in an Aikido technique, I think there might be a little confusion there. I said, no, that's the vortex. This is what goes on in this space. And if this space has spirals, so be it. But it's within the space character, whatever, whatever. Yeah, something like that. Hello. Yes, yes. Thanks. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, most of you should be on before you leave. Uh, next week, 4th of July weekend, night off. Okay, go ye and play with your vortex. Uh, somebody, any, anything, 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 anything? Dumb questions are okay, because we're not even sure what we're talking about. So anything from you is fine. Sensei. Yo. Danny here. Hey, Danny there. Um, I think uh, last week before class, um, as you know, I'm, I, I'm, my present life is, is pretty much about healing and getting better. And so I, I felt like I had an intimacy with... Um, the healing self or self of healing. 
And so last week I had this experience of um, touching healing self or it touching me. And then I was asked a question. It was, do you want a boost? Do you boost. want to have a boost, a boost, like a boost of energy? Yeah. yeah? So I, immediately I didn't really my body said yes and 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 i'm wondering now if if i was in this vortex and i was and i could feel this push a bit of a push and a pull and then suddenly i was no longer with the healing self and i was with the caring self this the self caring one and ah, the following you know, week, that, that, that uh, maybe let's not be... confuse where, where we're at. So maybe you're onto something, but I, I don't want to get too convoluted here. Uh, the vortex, let's say, is just uh, how the lobster trap got made. And therefore, there are certain similar things within here. But now we're within here, and you are making a touch on saying healing self could you show yourself or something like that okay and then and then healing self said do you want to boost uh myself i would have said go for it and be very open and see that that word allow an experience okay so i don't have to confuse vortex with what's going on here this is the glow of self if that's in fact where you were it's a glow of self yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, remember, all along the way, uh, we've got these uh, core. We got these cores and they emanate energies. And we got a finer core that emanates energies through the body. We got a finer core and eventually being a realized core and self are probably the same damn thing at a finer level. Now you got self that radiates, emanates. Okay. Okay. And Susan and I have been working in on the healing potential of a self aligning properly with their person, okay, with the person, because they hover and they're over there to the left and all over the place. So we're saying, hey, guys, you really got to align, okay? And when you align, because you're uh, in your own way alive, not the right word, but your, your own way of uh, present glowing, let's say, you affect your person to develop better in whatever way they're supposed to develop in this life, okay? And it has a healing potential, okay? Yeah, so far, Danny? Good, fine, yeah. So I don't think we have to bring the word vortex into your experience. That's some okay. outer, what? <laughs> Shape of the loss of drive, but, but uh, let's not confuse the inner stuff with vortexing. Uh, but again, if you run into a vortex wherever, uh, I, I'm playing with the sense of maybe we can make it easier. We just acknowledge there is a vortex. You sense it, you feel it, you're feeling affected by it. Well, then let's acknowledge it. Oh, there's a vortex. And that's that. Easy, inner, and this is this. I, I, I'm sorry, I can't say it any clearer. I just didn't want to get too convoluted there, Danny is all. Yeah. And you were probably saying something brilliant and I'm too dumb to hear it. So bear no, with no, me. No, no, but um, I don't think so. No, I think that you've added some clarity for me. But um, this following week from that time, I, it's like I have had a boost and so many amazing things have happened this week in, in, in my return to health. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, and I recall you maybe a month or, or so ago, might've been longer that you, you felt it was time for there should be a boost of, of some kind. And if the self is positioned better, 
it has a natural, because it's natural radiation, a natural healing capability. So yeah, yeah. that's what I've been wanting, been wanting you to do all along. So when I would jump you and you talk about the massage, I love massage or the acupuncture. Acupuncture, yeah, that's cool. No problem. But for you, I think we needed this inner self radiating because you're a hard case. You got FU cancer. Okay. That's not a little stiff shoulder that they can, whatever. Okay. So, not to take away from massage, not to take away from acupuncture, not to take away from anything. But those that can, I always have a feeling Danny, uh, Danny's self is close. So, I had a feeling he could more easily tap his self and have a position and glow healing light. So I've been on you since forever, Danny. I was on you a little bit it's about this before brain. you got sick on your back porch. How many years ago was that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, thanks very much. Yeah. Anyway. In fact, in fact it, it's while I'm saying thank you, it's difficult to thank you enough for what the um, your persistence <laughs> in in finding ways Wait, of, of did, did he your, just say I'm a pain in the ass? Is, is that what he just say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. But um, yeah, I, it's hard hard to find the words, and I'm sure it's the same for all of us. Um, our appreciation of you. Thank you. Okay, lesser level, but the Gucci Sensei saw an O Sensei something. And was persistent and on his case and digging on him because he saw what was there. So again, I always had a feeling yourself was potentially touchable closer. So yeah, whatever, whatever. Anyway, people, two minutes here and we'll cut and run. Somebody, something, something we said that confused you no end that we could clarify, maybe. I wonder if we say the vortex is kind of like the world is doing. It's getting tighter right, and crazier. Starvation, earthquakes, wars. Uh, uh, that, that's that. Easy, that's that. And this is this, okay? Unless you want to get caught up in that, go for it. Get crazier, okay? They need volunteers in what country? Ukraine. Ukraine, go for it. If that's your thing, all right? But a little crazy to get crazier, no? You all know that. So that's that. Easy, and it's a strong force. Millions of people are being sucked into this. Okay. Yes. And this is this. Your call. Your call. Anyway, whatever. Thank you for hanging out. Anybody? Sister, I have a question. This is Andreas. Who that? Andreas. Andreas, yes. Yeah, my question is this. Um, it's about misogyny, and I don't want to use fancy words, but I think like, um, and I don't want to go as far. You you went way further than where I'm at. I mean, it's such, okay, I want to spoil where, Yes. Go. So I'm thinking, let's say you you are at the right. I, I believe like once somebody's at the right pot, we were talking the pot theory, but I, th I still think that even though everything is at the right, everything is right. I th I still think there needs to be this. This, what's oh, since it was calling misogyny, the, the, how do you do that misogyny, that cleansing of self in order to move to the next level? Like once okay, you- okay, have, hold, hold, hold it right now, stop. Okay. You don't clean up yourself to be a better self. You start okay. with your stupid asshole self, <laughs> okay? Yeah. And you go through the process, easy. <laughs> and if you're present, you naturally move into the next level where the self is a bit cleaner or the character is a bit nicer. You don't, you don't try to make Bobby a Robert to move into Robert. Bobby's Bobby. 
All we ask Bobby to do is settle down and shut up for a minute. Easy. And Bobby naturally crosses a border, enters the land of Robert that mixes up a Robert. Oh, okay? So you don't have to perfect the asshole you. And you can go round and round if you try. Uh, reason I understand this one is because I went through that one. Okay? I, I mentioned the story once or twice. I had a sense that, uh, or what I read something or something, to meditate, you have to be loving. And I said, oh, shit. I, I, I'd like to meditate. I'm really called to do it. But I'm not loving. Now, instead of trying to be loving, it's like I knew no way could I become loving. This is that guy. I said, well, let me, let me play with this meditation stuff anyway. And lo and behold, it brought me to a level that was more caring or loving. I said, oh, that's how it works. It exists. It wasn't telling Bobby to be loving. It was saying, easy, Bobby, easy. And the next and the next. And it was more loving. Okay. Yeah, got it? Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. No, because if you try to get your idiot level, your one <laughs> by one level, I'm talking to everybody, to, to be better, uh, what a fight that's going to be. <laughs> you're an idiot because you're an idiot. <laughs> See? If the idiot accepts he's an idiot, okay. And this old settling easy, whatever the game is for you, you'll move into the next level. And the mix there will be not such an idiot. Okay. And that one will move into the next one after a bit. We're not an idiot. Move into even the next one. And I don't remember when I was an idiot. And when you mention stories when I was an idiot, I can't relate because I'm not living from that, from the idiot space anymore. It's a, it doesn't even exist in my memory hardly. Did I say that? Did I do that? I can't believe it because I'm in this level now kind of thing. So uh, uh, Misogi is uh, realizing by going through this process that you are a cleaner, clearer being. You don't clean up your being. Bobby can't clean up Bobby very well. Okay. But you can start with your Bobby. Of course, start with your Bobby. And da, 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 and all work out. Okay. So I often make jokes about certain Christian types, and they're angry. Uh, uh, I, I shouldn't be angry. I, I, I should be Christian, whatever. And I think, oh, no, you guys are making a mistake. Stay with the anger. Sit with it for a moment. How angry are you? Could you throw a, 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 a pillow? Could you uh, uh, throw a dish? Could you kill somebody? Oh, no, I couldn't go that far. Okay, just establish how angry you are. And let's continue. Settle, easy. Next level. Now what is the anger? Da, 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 da. So they had a nice line, a nice highway set up for them by getting angry, but they didn't know the trick of easy, say what? Easy, what is it really? Okay, I think when you're feeling angry and you say, no, I, I can't, I gotta, I should be this. It's like too bad you had a highway there, you could have utilized. That, that's the one I did when I uh, make a joke and not really a joke of you know, go out and kill something or somebody. Uh, I thought, I can't do that. It sent me in jail. I'm too handsome to go to jail. I told you the story before. I sit with it. What the hell is that? They go through different stages. It's red. It's volcanic. Continue. Da, 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 and reach a place where it's just power. But it didn't have a hurtful agenda. It was just powerful. No agenda to hurt. And I, oh. Then I begin to wonder. I wonder if every, I don't know what to call it, quality, uh, emotional, whatever, that does the same. I play with a couple of others, and lo and behold, they follow the same pattern. Here, it's like, ah, here, not so bad. Here, not so bad. Here, really nice, really nice. Whoa, fantastic. 
So, yeah. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Finish up time, people. Thank you very much, Sensei. Enjoy next weekend. Okay. Thank you. Then good night, everyone. And no class next Friday, July 1st. Thank you, everyone. And good night. Thank you, Sensei. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Thank you, Sensei. Good night, everyone. Good night, Laura. Thank you, okay, over and out. Night,